Okay, well, let's take a look and see what family we've got here. Hi, my name is Vicki Newton. I'm 43 years old and I have two sons. Aaron, who's 12, and Kobe, who is five. My name is Aaron Newton, I'm 54 years old. Vicki and I are currently separated. We've been separated for a little over a year. <laughs> I have primary custody of the boys. Oh, the fire, stop at me! No, in the house. No! In the house! No! And they spend every other weekend with their father. When my children are with me, they're good kids. The boys are like night and day when they're with me and then with, with their dad. Kobe is the, the angel devil child. Stop it! He can turn on you Ow! and hit, kick and scream. Absolutely have meltdowns. This little boy's so angry. Aaron. Vicky. Little Aaron, he wants to be a big mature man. Oh. You kicked out of our house. But Kobe pushes every button that Aaron has. What now, Aaron? Get on the ground! I stepped in it! I see the ground so he can step in it. Take your ass downstairs. I'm a very strict person. Aaron, uh, you are definitely cleaning this place up today. And my children understand that. You know, I can't hang with this. I want you to eat. I don't want to eat now. I feel like such a horrible mom because they're just, they just won't, won't listen. When I cook food, then want you eat it. I when I want to eat. Stop, stop it. So different in one house to the other. F you. Hey! I don't think I need super nanny's help. But I think Vicky does tremendously. I feel like I can't win. So please, if you can do it, I'll be forever grateful. I've seen enough. You guys desperately need my help, and I'm on my way now. Pleased to meet you, I'm Jo. Hi, I'm Vicky. May I come in? Oh, please do. This is Jo. Hi, Kobe. Pleased to meet you. Shake Jojo's hand. How are you? Good. After I was introduced to Kobe, we went outside to the backyard where we played some basketball, but it wasn't five minutes before Kobe started trouble. Mm. Knock it off. Mm. You better stop threatening to throw it at me. I'll <laughs> Don't you throw it at me. Why are you doing that? This little boy has no respect for Vicky. He doesn't listen to anything she has to say. He doesn't take her seriously. Just total non-respect. Aaron. Hi, Aaron. How are you? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Jojo. Mm -hmm. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. When Aaron came home from school, I introduced myself to him, and he was very pleasant. And Mum asked if he would go outside and play with Kobe. No, I'm not playing with Kobe. Ever? I didn't say ever. I said right now. Well, I didn't say right this second. I said, get your homework done. Okay. What if I don't want to play with my homework done? Aaron, why don't we take one step at a time? How about that? It was like watching two teenagers bickering back and forth. When Aaron talks back to me, it's... I've become so accustomed to it, and I kind of blow it off as to his age. Do your homework. Where's Kobe at? I don't know. It turns out that Kobe was upstairs on the computer. Kobe, you're not even supposed to be touching the computer. I'm ignoring you. What is it you're doing that I told you not to? Let's go. No. Kobe, hey, hey! Do not slam the keyboard. Down, off, so. <laughs> Don't <laughs> hit me. Now stop, Kobe, stop it. Don't start kicking. Oh. Ow, oh. stop it. He just went into a rage. It was like a volcano that had erupted. Mm. Sit. Mm. <laughs> this has spiraled out of control. Yeah. This is yeah. outrageous. Yeah. Stop hitting me now, stop it. When I get angry, I hit my mom. I yell things and throw things. What have you done? I'm trying. See, I'm trying to make him at least calm down and stay in his room. I try to get him to calm down. And a lot of times it just takes. What did you just throw? That is not acceptable, Kobe. Stop it! 
To be a spectator and watch that for me was just the most difficult thing that I've probably ever had to do. I was just so torn professionally with watching and observing or compassionately just stepping in. You just heard it. Yeah, you're going in here and I don't care. He was not letting go of it. It broke me down. I have not had any resolve to this. I don't know what to do. So your ex doesn't know that this goes on? He knows that they do it. He tells him not to. He's usually coming down by now. Things got so bad that at one stage, Mum screamed out, Aaron, please help me. He won't stop. And Aaron came upstairs and he got between his mother and his brother. <laughs> see what happens, your brother tries to defend me and then you get hurt. Because you refuse to just stop. Aaron, just go, just go. Don't, no more. How about we just sit here? You are kidding me. Aaron defends mum by fighting with him to the point where he can then physically hurt Kobe. And then the person that Kobe's been beaten up on pacifies him because he's been hurt. What a destructive cycle that is happening in here. This is just outrageous. Hello. Hi, yeah. Hello. Hi, pleased to meet you. How are you? Joe, very well. Aaron Newton, and yourself? Dad came from work to pick up the boys and I met him and he was very polite and said hello and he greeted the boys. How are you doing, Button? You okay? You're going to Daddy's for a while. And it was just a different energy altogether. Kobe, mm -hmm. do you want to tell Daddy about what happened earlier? I was kicking money. Would you talk to him about that when you're over there, please? Because this is not uncommon. This is what he does. He gets mad and he loses control. Aaron, finally I said, Aaron, please help me. You are hitting me. I was not hit. Stop, Kobe. You pushed me down. Stop it, right now. Is this a conversation that is repetitive, listening to Vicky explain to you how yes. Kobe's behaved? Yes, yes it is. How do you deal with it together? He has serious sit down conversations with them when he's alone yeah. with them. Is that, is that, that's the case? Yeah, but it's after the fact. And I don't know if it has that much uh, significance, especially to Kobe. I just don't see that type of behavior that Vicky has told me that they have done in front of her. Um, why? I honestly don't know. Vicky and Aaron aren't seeing eye to eye. They share custody of the boys, but they're not working together. And the boys see that. Hey guys, we'll see you later. Give me kisses. <laughs> All over you. Bye, honey. Mm. Now that I spent the whole day at Mum's, I wanted to see if the children really do behave differently at Dad's. I'm going to leave my bag here. Oh, OK. As soon as I arrived, Dad was making dinner for the boys. Oh, boy, does he run a tight ship. Aaron, this is really cheesy, OK? AT? Yeah? Fun. What made you go over there? I didn't like his response. I'm a very strict parent uh, with my children. Uh, I'm regimented. Uh, 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 don't even start. <laughs> Say excuse me. Mm -hmm. Kobe, huh? sit up right in the chair today, please. Right. Aaron, you know you don't talk with food in your mouth. Dad's presence overall is very strict as far as he's general. You know, he's, he's upright. My dad usually, when he tells me stuff, it's serious. It's not like an option. Right, so your dad tells you, but your mom gives you It option. seems like my mom's giving me options and my dad's giving it more seriously. Yeah. You're a very astute boy and a very smart one. Thank you for inviting me to your home. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. However, what I would like is for you to make your way over to Vicky's because I would love to sit down with a pair of you and have a chat. Okay. Lovely. So I look forward right. to seeing you there. Sure. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. These parents' heads are seriously messed up and it's reflecting in some of the bad behaviour that we're seeing from these children. I need to sit down with Vicky and Aaron and discuss this situation as soon as possible.
I called for the pair of you to meet me this evening because the severity of what I've seen in observation couldn't wait for tomorrow. I would agree. The aggression in this house is absolutely horrifying. Oh, I agree. I, I absolutely agree. And yet you tolerate that, Vicky. You put up with the children hitting you. I've got to ask you, why, Vicky? Why do you allow your children to physically treat you that way? I guess I don't, that's, I don't know what else to do at that point. I don't know how else to get him to stop. What are the children's consequences for this behavior? Where is the discipline? You'd have to talk to Vicky about that because it, I can't discipline my children for something that they don't do at my house. Now, Aaron, you have been told time and time again by Vicky about the abuse. When did mum's word become invalid? I'm more of a person that deals with the situation at hand when it happens. But it's not good enough, Aaron. I understand. It's not good enough because you're not supporting Vicky in raising your children properly. I'm understanding what she's telling us. Are you? I'm acknowledging it. Okay. But you don't necessarily agree. I can see by the... I haven't said anything. I'm listening. Look at Aaron. A bright boy who sees everything. He shouldn't have to step up and be a father to Kobe and deal with discipline. The boy should be worrying about who's going to be playing basketball with him. And this is what it's about at the end of the day. It's about your boys. I think it was necessary for him to hear that so that we can move forward as far as the kids are concerned. Are you guys willing to work together to change around the destructive behavior that we are seeing? I am. Yes. I hope Vicky will really take what Joe has to say to heart and think of what Joe is trying to do to help us together. I am very happy to see that the pair of you are willing to be able to communicate with one another to be able to change this around. Okay. Good night. Good night. The first thing I needed to do was to get Vicky and Aaron to a place where they could start working together. What I'd like to do is to present you with some footage, Aaron. Dad has repetitively said that he doesn't see the behaviour that Kobe gives his mother. So I want to make sure that Aaron sees what Vicky has to put up with. Don't start kicking! <coughs> Stop it! I did want Aaron to see it. I wanted him to see what Kobe was capable of. He had not seen Kobe to that extreme. So I think it was good for him to see it, even though it's embarrassing to see your child act like that. <coughs> when I saw the DVD with Kobe, I was very disappointed in what I saw. You don't want to hear my response to that. Oh, I do. It quite frankly should have been nipped in the bud an awful long time ago. Is that Kobe's fault? No, it isn't. Kobe's five years old. I'm, I'm kind of angry about this, to tell the truth. Aaron was extremely angry, but this is not the first time he's heard about Kobe's behavior. He's obviously done nothing productive to stop this. If Kobe's not to blame and be accountable for his own behavior and aggression, who is? The parents are. What Aaron doesn't understand is this. Even though he doesn't live in this house anymore, he is equally responsible for his children's bad behavior. By allowing Aaron to come in and see with his own eyes Kobe's behavior is the first step towards you both taking responsibility for your children. It's very difficult to grasp the severity in that type of action from your own child. So I'm still working with what to do about that. Now that Aaron realizes he needs to be more involved in disciplining the children, I'm setting Vicky and him up with an exercise. Common ground technique. The goal of the common ground technique is to allow mum and dad to write down their goals for the boys. Okay, so on this here, 
Write down some of the goals you would like to see achieved. Let's try. Okay, why don't we start with you? Refrain from name calling. Yep. Use our words and not physical contact to express ourselves. Mm -hmm. Would you be in agreement with that? I mean, I'm just... I, I would definitely be in agreement with it. Aaron, let's hear one of yours. I wrote down communication, not only with Vicky, but with my children. And I put down open, honest, and direct. That, that, well, uh, that works. Oh, I, I, I agree. It went very well. The pair of them were very amicable. They listened to one another. They were in unison of where they wanted to reach with the boys, so that was very good. Starting afresh. My feeling is Vicky and I have reached a starting point, trying to work together to resolve some serious issues. There is no discipline that is effective in this house, and so I'm introducing the Privilege Removal Board so that mum can get control back in this house. Kobe, I saw behavior from you yesterday that was very upsetting. Behavior like aggression, which is punching and kicking and any kind of behavior that hurts somebody else is wrong. You're gonna learn that if you don't start behaving yourselves, that you're gonna pay a price for it. Basketball. If you start to fight, no more basketball. I lose a privilege when I hit and cuss and swear and all the things that I'm not supposed to do. Mummy and Daddy have had enough of your behaviour. Perhaps it's my responsibility to assist Vicky to work on that chart and reach a common ground. And how you treat Daddy and speak to Daddy is how you will treat Mummy, with respect and lots of love. Mummy needs to step up now and she's going to, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, the boys were playing basketball together, but before you knew it, trouble started. I'm not playing with him. Why? Because he Come. keeps on crying and whining because the way I'm shooting. Vicky often makes things worse when she gets drawn in by Kobe's anger when she deals with him. So before she went out to talk to him, I wanted to give her some tools so that she could remain calm. You don't want to get angry because he's showing anger. All right, what you want him to do is get to a place where he can calm down. And when he's calmed down, you can then say to him, talk to mommy so I can help you resolve the situation. Okay? Okay. If he hits you, he is throwing rocks. Kobe's behaviour was getting worse by the minute, and action did have to be taken. Kobe has a lot of anger inside him, and feeding into it just makes it worse. Kobe, I asked you, no, come here. Kobe. Kobe. I thought it would be very beneficial to help him calm down with a breathing technique. Breathe through your nose. Repeat what I say. Breathe through your nose, honey. Show him. Show him. Breathe in. Look at mommy. Look at mommy. Good boy. It was working. Kobe started to settle down. You know what, Kobe? Instead of getting angry and throwing things, just come and say, mommy, I'm sad. This is why I'm sad. And talk to me. Because you know what? Throwing things isn't getting us anywhere, is it? No. And you're going to have to lose a privilege now. Kobe ended up losing a privilege, and it's the first time that mum has ever been adamant about following through with a consequence and sticking with it. But when he realised what was happening, he went on a massive rampage. No! Sometimes you lose privilege. Makes me mad sometimes. You just feel like you're going to lose it at any time because you just don't know when it's going to end. And I was trying to keep my cool and not get angry. Kobe was destroying anything he could get his hands on. But mum remained composed so that she didn't feed into his anger. Okay. Breathe. <sighs> Come on, show mama, put through your nose. Come on, baby. I actually thought he was never going to be able to get composure, but when he did it with me the first time, I thought, wow, you know, maybe this can be a way to get him to calm down. Keep going. Kobe, come on, keep going. 
good boy, that's it. After the storm had gone, things were in a state throughout the whole house. But the one thing that had come out of it that was positive was that mum had stuck to her guns. And that boundary line was placed very firmly in that house. OK. All right. And it was up to Kobe to recognise that it was there for good. Aaron's a really good kid, but he is often overlooked because his parents spend so much time dealing with Kobe. So I gave him a notebook so he can write down his thoughts and share it with his parents when he's ready. It's every day. She said it's for me like to write down questions that you know I can ask my parents or how I'm feeling and stuff like that. So I thought it was really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Dad came over from work to see the boys and I showed him around the house, the destruction. Oh my God. I took him straight upstairs to the computer room where he saw everything displayed on the floor. What I would like to see once you've taken the minute to compose yourself with what you've seen is to be able to sit down with Kobe and make it quite clear that his unacceptable behaviour has to stop. He has lost his privileges and I'd like them to follow through in suit in your home, OK? Kobe needs to understand that if he misbehaves in his mother's house, the discipline will be followed through in his dad's house as well. You can't play basketball for how many days? Two. Whatever happens here is going to happen at Daddy's apartment, right? Do you understand that? OK. If you're back talk here, you might as well be back talking Daddy. When you talk to him, Dad, don't pacify what you're saying. OK? I know, I know. This is know. you being firm with him. I know, I know, it's hard. What's hard? To be firm? Aaron. I understand, I understand. Aaron, no, Aaron, I don't think you do. When I picked Kobe up, um, it was a father saying to his son, you're not a bad guy. We're going to work on this. Put him down for a minute, please. Put him down. Uh, you know, I, I have to be honest, OK? He's in front of us. Okay. Kobe, do something for Daddy, okay? Why don't you run upstairs? Because Daddy has to be real now, okay? This is good. This is what I want. I said to him, why are you behaving this way with Kobe? And he turned around very abrupt and said, let's get real here. And I thought, let's do it. Let's talk. I am very disappointed, okay? Okay. The behavior that Kobe is showing, he doesn't do it with me. Mm -hmm. I didn't lay this foundation. Vicky did. And that is not Kobe's fault. Mm -hmm. Okay? Am I mad? You're damn right I'm mad. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like condemn Kobe because of what an adult has allowed him to do. Okay? I hear what you're going to say. Now I'm going to lay my cards down on the table. Please do. Aaron blames Vicky, but he's got to get beyond that. What's most important here is that Vicky and Aaron put their children's welfare first and put their differences aside. Kobe's anger has also now escalated with the fact that Vicky hasn't stepped up and implemented her own foundation. But she's not had the support from you because of your own personal differences and those children are now having to deal with those emotions. He's five years old and he's got a lot of pent-up anger. These boys have got to see that their father supports their mother to be able to put these kids on the right track. Because after all, isn't that why we're all here? That's the reason. Yeah. OK. After my talk with Aaron, I realised that these two parents have got some serious, deep issues to resolve. And no matter what I try and do for them, it's not going to help unless they decide to work together. Now, I was invited into your home to resolve some severe issues. But I cannot help you guys change that if you guys are not willing to talk to each other and clear the air with your own relationship first so that you can both take responsibility for your children together. I'm going to go away, and when I come back, I'd like a, a joint decision on whether you would like to invite me back to be able to help the pair of you. These guys have got some serious homework to do while I'm away. They've got to be coming up with some resolvement in order for me to be able to come back into this house and help them turn around the dynamics because it's a bad place right now. It's nice to see oh, the boys playing together. Yeah.
Uh-oh, it's in. Nobody plays you. What's going on? Kobe sucked me in the face. Did you hit it? I hit you back with you. Yeah. 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 Breathe, breathe. Good job trying to calm him down, Mum. He sucked me in the face because I sucked him in his stomach. You know what that means? Yeah, it means no more basketball today. No! We talked about this. You know the rules. <laughs> you had a warning. Walk away, Vicky. Yeah. Just try and give him some breathing room. We're not going to play this anymore today. I love oh, I'm sorry, baby. Don't apologize for disciplining him. You're going to have to. No! Well, we have to calm down, okay? We need to breathe, okay? Come on, show me. Hubby, come on, look at Mommy, show me. Mommy needs to do it because Mommy's upset too, okay? That was tough, but you stayed pretty calm and you got Kobe there too. That's fantastic. Look at Aaron writing in his notebook. Right before I go to bed, I always write stuff in my notebook that Joe gave me. Well, Aaron would like to talk to us downstairs. That's fine. Fine. I don't want to do it, just my mom or just my dad. I want to kind of do it when we're all together. This is the book that Joe gave me, so I wanted to um, share what I have, um, what I wrote down. I wish Kobe would stop hitting my mom and me, because he hurts us, and I need Kobe not to hit or curse. Look, it's bringing you guys together. I'm proud of my mom and the way she is handling Kobe. I'm proud of my parents and working together and trying to control Kobe's anger. Those are very, very good observations, Aaron. Excellent. For me, you know, you know how hard I've been trying not to yell, but if you're saying, Mom, you've really tried, then I know that I'm doing a lot better. Do you have any questions about any one of them? <laughs> this is great communication and openness. This is a major step for you guys. Daddy. You want me to make rice? <laughs> I love this. You're working together. I think I can manage that without burning it. Look how happy Kobe is. Just look at that smile. I'm just reading Kobe a story. You want to say goodnight to him? Hold on. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my sweetheart. Were you a good boy today? Yeah. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love you. I'm proud of you, Mum and Dad. You're finally working together for the children. What a big step for you all. Okay, let's all take a look. Nobody plays you. Breathe, breathe. <laughs> Breathe. No. In, in. Do we hit people? No. Do we hit people? No. We're not going to play this anymore today. I love Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Good that you got him to calm down, OK? OK. You got him to calm down so he could rationally talk to you. But then you started to go back. Pacify, pacify at the end of the bed, trying to negotiate, thinking that he's not going to love you because you decided to put your foot down and say, this is how it is. I wish Kobe would stop hitting my mom and me. I'm proud of my parents and working together and trying to control Kobe's anger. That's good. I can't watch that clip without feeling emotional. I know. To be honest with you. I had a hard time not. Under the circumstances, to sit down with the pair of you and discuss what was on his mind and in his heart took an enormous amount of courage. I mean, how did you feel at that particular time? I felt proud, mm. extremely proud. I was very proud of him, and I didn't even realize that he'd been writing so much in it, but I think that's good for him. Very much, let's continue. You want me to make rice? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think I can manage that without burning it. <laughs> Good night, Daddy. I love you. Look at his face. What did he see that made him smile? What made him laugh? Mom and Dad interacting positively.
When you create an environment that can just be pleasant, on the basic level, it creates that face. We've watched this footage and clearly seen what does need to be addressed. So what I would like to know from the pair of you is whether there is a joint decision about where the pair of you want to take this situation. I can present myself with Aaron and Kobe, hopefully, in a much more positive vein and go forward. While it's been very emotional for both of us, I think that um, what Joe's been able to do is bring a lot of things to light that needed to be. We do have to be able to communicate on a positive basis when it comes to kids. Good. Then let's get started. When Aaron and Kobe play together, they normally end up in a fight. But I've got a little game for them, so I'm hoping this will change things. This is how the game is going to work, right? There's a series of tasks for them to achieve so they can give each other encouragement, work together and have some fun. Once they complete a task, they get a piece to a puzzle. Starting from now. All right, Kobe, now go forward. No, to the left, to the left. Up, up, right there, right there, right there. Good boy. You've just got yourself an envelope. They were excited to be working as a team and they were very curious to see what the puzzle would turn out to be. Come on, next one. Aaron's got to find these words. You have two minutes. Go. Come on, Aaron. Come on, you're smart. Come on. 40 seconds. PG. 20. 19. Well done. Cool. Oh, it was a blast. It was so fun. Mine is here. The way that she put it together to make them have to do it as a team and have to cheer each other on was so much fun and you know they did such a great job you have to dig into that box and do what you can to find that key all right you do what you gotta do starting from now go 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 no go just go go <laughs> look look through it look through it oh great that was really fun i jumped it out look for it go me then i found the key it was something new for the boys to work together and cheer each other on. They were learning that they could have fun together instead of fighting and beating up on each other all the time. We did that together. That's me and my brother. That was fun. That was the most fun I've had with my little brother, I think, ever. Later on, I wanted the boys to have some quality time with mum. So mum got out some ink pads for them to do an art project together. But before they could even get started... You don't do the ink on the table. Kobe, look at me. Kobe wanted to do things his way. <laughs> Remove him from the area. Oh. Remove him. But Kobe's behaviour got worse and it erupted into a huge tantrum. Oh, I broke another one. Trying to call Kobe down was going to take some strenuous effort, so it was important that Vicky remain calm. Kobe, it is not acceptable for you to be throwing things. Destruction. I will not go back to letting him have his own way because I see what it's caused and I see that I let it get to the level that it did, how hard it is to go back and get control of it. Vicky's realizing that if she can just get Kobe to slow down and breathe, he'll calm down. And through your nose. Out through your mouth. Come on, show mummy. Show me you can We do it. know you, you can go. do it when you get angry. You show mummy. Breathing through my nose and not my mouth. <sighs> He's nice and calm. Then I come down. There's a cycle with Kobe that happens. It's about breaking that cycle. This was a huge victory for mum. She remained calm, she took control of the situation and got Kobe to calm down. He needs to apologise for hitting you, pick up his mess, and then he had quite a job to do, cleaning up the mess he had made. Firm voice, OK? Kobe, pick those up. Normally, I would have cleaned everything up. Joe said, no, don't do that. He's got to understand, he makes a mess, he's going to pick it up. Later that evening, Aaron stopped by to discuss Kobe's behaviour. This is what needs to happen. Kobe needs to recognise is your support with Vicky. Mm -hmm. Aaron was prepared to support Vicky with discipline, so now it was time to address Kobe together. 
We had a very rough day because Kobe made very bad decisions. And he chose to get angry and break things. He. I did not um, see it. Hold, hold on a second. Kobe, do you think this is funny? I'm not going to allow you to continue to be destructive. If it continues to happen, you continue to lose privileges. And you lose privileges at my house tomorrow. I think with Kobe seeing Vicky and myself, it showed a unity that what we were trying to convey to him was that we're working together. I will not tolerate you not doing what you're told. Do you understand that? Because there will be consequences. I felt really good because I felt like he's understanding that, hey, mom and dad are both sitting here telling me that they're not gonna tolerate this. You know, maybe I better listen. Now let's go upstairs and get our pajamas on and get ready for bed. Go ahead. Mom and dad are finally working together, which is amazing because it's going to take the pair of them to keep Kobe's behavior under control. Kobe, I'm going now. I'm gonna give Jojo a hug and a kiss. Okay, mm -hmm. what Kobe do we like? Huh? What Kobe do we like when he's behaving like what? Okay. Yes. Aaron, give me a hug, darling. Take care, I am very proud of you. Aaron, take care. <laughs> My plan ultimately is, is to continue to, to work with Vicky and the, and the children. It just can't stop with Joel leaving. Keep working on yourself, yeah? And your family. Bye, Vicky. Jo's had a tremendous impact on us. The things that she made us deal with and face, all within all of ourselves. I almost feel like I gained a sister. Bye-bye. Throughout this experience, Vicky and Aaron have mutually agreed to keep their personal differences aside. And even though they're living apart, they're taking responsibility together in raising their children, which is going to make them as a family a lot happier. <laughs> Aaron is smiling more. He's opening up more. He's more upbeat. Did that go? Oh! I am proud of Aaron for the progress he's made in such a short period of time. I still feel that there's a lot of work that needs to be done with Kobe, and it's going to be something that, that Vicky and I have to work together yeah, with. Little things are going to add up, and I think we're going to see a big overall change in Kobe. The boys and I will have more quality time together. We'll do more fun things together. Past is past. Vicky and I can work toward a common goal. It's beneficial for both of us. I would say to any divorced couple, take a look at the relationship that you have with your ex and really evaluate how that could be affecting your children because it's a lot more powerful than you can ever imagine. Joe taught me that. I think I do have a lot more respect for my mom now. I'm very proud of my mom. Kobe, are you getting some? Just hopefully things will get um, keep just getting better and better. Thank you for helping my mom, helping my dad, helping my little brother, helping me. I can't thank her enough for making us see what we had to see to make an impact and make it better. Thank you, Jojo.